Hey, in today's video I want you to talk about characters, about how to draw interesting poses and give a few tips that might help you. Some of them might seem super basic and I'm not saying I'm super good at this either, I'm obviously not, I'm still learning to, but maybe my experience will also help you because I wish I knew all of this before, I mean sooner. And the resources I will be mentioning, all of this you can find in the description box below. And also, I will try to recommend only free resources. So, number one, learn about line of action and gesture drawing. In a few words, if you draw a complicated pose that involves some kind of movement, it looks aesthetically pleasing if there is some sort of invisible line that goes through the body that sets that movement. There is a really great article about line of action written by Ron Dusay and it will explain it very well and by all means please read it. Using line of action will bring life to your characters. And gesture drawing is basically the same principle and there are a lot of videos about it and books you can just Google gesture drawing, but please, please read the article, I recommend it, you won't regret it. Let's go to number two. Learn how to simplify human body as a set of basic forms. This is especially helpful if you draw a cartoony character. You can draw a head as a circle, neck, hands and legs as cylinders and so on. And unless you draw a super, super realistic body, it will work. Now, I've seen a lot of variations of this schematic approach. Like in tutorials, they don't differ much. First time I started using it when... It was when I joined challenge slash open course by Vera Vilichka. She's a Russian artist and she only streams and makes videos in Russian. So I guess it won't help you much, but in English there is Mitch Liui and he has both YouTube and Instagram and he also makes a lot of tutorials, so I just leave a link in the description. And there is also Mark Brunet and I guess others, but if you could speak Russian I would recommend Vera. Okay. Moving to the next one, and this is reference. This should have been number one, really, but... Like, obviously, if you draw a character in a complicated pose, you need a reference. Obviously. You need to see it, not just in your imagination. And here is what you can do. You can either take a photo of yourself in front of a mirror, or ask someone to take a photo of you in that pose, or ask a friend to pose for you. Or, or you can find a photo in the internet. For instance, I found several profiles in Twitter that make free photos for artists with different poses and they post them quite often. And most of them are also on Instagram, DeviantArt and somewhere else, I guess. But first I saw them on Twitter, and here I'm using one of those references, a pose by Adorka Stock. I might pronounce it wrong though, I'm sorry. And of course you can also use Google or Pinterest, and if you type character pose on Pinterest, for example, in the search result most likely you'll also find pose references that will be not just photos, they will be, there will be drawings and they will look like simplified combination of forms, as I described before. And there are many other websites such as Line of Action and there are, you can find not just reference, you can set timers there and with timers you can draw quick sketches and it's very very efficient if you want to practice. So my next tip will be learn human proportions and anatomy. At some point you want to learn at least the basics, like 
like the size of the head towards the height of the human body, male, female, a child. And to learn anatomy, I would recommend Proca channel on YouTube. And for reference, if you need muscles and such, there is a really great book called Anatomy for Sculptors, but I promised I only include links with free resources, so for muscles and such I found two websites with 3D models of human body and you can find muscles there and all of that just 